Mm, that was that was see that was a late DP right there against that Condor dive. See, Hawk. Oh, bro, how how low can you make it to the ground? <laughs> bro, he just he just really picking me up like I'm a rag doll. He's a. Mm. What's up, everybody? This is Justin Wall, and we're back with some more Japan footage. And this time, we are focusing on ST. We fought against the craziest. T-Hawk player who didn't care about blocking whatsoever. Just all he cared about was churning that butter. So if you guys want to see me get grabbed, get vortex, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell's notification, and let's get in the video. Do they jump you in the arcade for using Sega? Nah. They jump you if you use Akuma though. Vega's probably more Vega's probably worse than Osagan now. People can't stand Vega. Yeah, Inomata. So this guy, he's the best T-Hawk in Japan, Inomata. And the crazy part about him is he also is a successful ramen shop owner. He owns a ramen shop chain where the portions are just huge. So I guess it's for grapplers, right? So this is like his ramen shop, bro. I went to the T-Hawk ST player, Ino Inomata's ramen he owns. It's famous for big ramen. Like legit, the portions was mad huge. And this is the end. Like I couldn't finish it, but this was like the end. It was really good. Yeah, I, I loved it. So like, I never really fought against T-Hawk like that, but I just know that like, like he got better because of option selects and everything like that, right? And for some reason, if you react fast and DP Condor Spire, you actually lose. Your DP loses. So you have to do a late DP. So if you don't do a late DP, now he could change it up. He could change it up with regular jump in or late or like dive. So like, it makes it harder to react to in certain situations. So I'm like, yeah, so I'm, I just wait. Um, I, I'm just like, what? how do I counter against the Hawk changing his jump ins and also late Condor Spire? So I'm like, maybe I can like change it medium. Like, you know what I mean? Like if I can medium, like, like change, like not do a late DP, but do a medium DP, like a, a middle, like in the middle. I could trade at least so I can also still punish the a jump in. That's why I started thinking about. Bro, like he's just holding forward, bro. He don't care. Uh, okay. I got lucky there. He didn't that that would that should have been SPD. Tiger, Tiger. And doing that is so sick. Like just a, like a low low condor condor dive. You see, that's like the mix, right? He's changing it up. Because if I do, like I said, late DP, then my D my DP will whiff against jump-ins. Hmm, there we go. Oh, no, and his DP beats my DP. Oh, no. <laughs> we guessed. I just held up because if I do early DP, reversal DP, and he does late DP, his DP wins. But if I jump, like if I wake up jump, like a scrub, it, it makes his DP whiff. Hmm, that was that was see that was a late DP right there against that Condor dive. See, Hawk. Oh, bro, how how low can you make it to the ground? <laughs> bro, he just he just really picking me up like I'm a rag doll. He's a mm. okay, Tiger. Nice. That was good DP. One more hit would have been stunned. Oh, that was a godlike DP right there. That DP was sick. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yep, I'm scared. I'm, I'm jumping. Jumping like a squirrel. Ugh, see? Bro. Ugh. Look at these trades, man. Oh no! Oh no! I was in the vortex. Low key, I feel like the whole match takes place in the corner. <laughs> like every match, I feel like just takes place. I'm in the corner, bro. Like, how do I stop him? And he got that down forward jab to make to make the DP whiff. Okay, one more hit for stun. Yep. Get the angels. Oh, bro. The crazy thing about Japan ST is like they are not careful whatsoever. Like they're like, bro, we are. I don't care if I'm close to stun. I'm getting in that ass. 
Okay, we take the trade. I'm all about trades all day. Trade is the name of the game. Oh, shit. Do you see? That's the late DP. See? That's the late DP. I'm down for late DPs. Oh! <laughs> the trade is the name of the game, for sure. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Mm, go for that. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. How am I supposed to stop this? I guess. Oh! Oh! I'm going to be honest. I don't know how that DP went. Okay, Tiger shot. No anti air. I was scared. We got an anti air that time. Another anti air. He's definitely going to do Condor Spires. Oh, so I should... Yeah, he is crazy. You're supposed to play him crazy. Look at that. A match takes place in the corner every single time. So it's a bad matchup on paper, but you have to play part in human, in like human, like fear and like shit like that. Like, because playing him low key, my man is stressful, bro. My man playing T Hawk. No wonder he got owns a ramen shop, bro. My man churns the. If he, you, you see how he churns the butter with T Hawk? He churns the freaking ramen, you know, the little, in the little uh, net thing that they have in the water. Okay, yeah. Then I started using, like, try to, like, do, like, air jump ins. Maybe I could stop air, air stuff with, like, against the uh, Condor Dive. Bro. Okay, nice. That was a good DP. Yeah, the craftsmanship. Oh, my God. Bro, he, he saw my jump. Use jump jab and then did. There we go. We got the DP. Bro, my man. Is, look at that. He, dude, he's so low on the ground. Like, oh no, that's punished. He's so good at like condor diving the low tiger shots. Oh. <laughs> what? Bro, how did you get through? How did you get through there? Bro, tiger shots all day. Bros, what do you mean? Grappler's got mad range. You see Street Fighter 6? Looking like a grappler fighting game over there. Oh, okay, see? I'm down to take these trades all day. It is a lot of more effort, for sure. T-Hawk definitely puts in more effort compared to Sagat. Oh my god, that was heavy SPD. Do you know why he jumps back there, Silent Scope? I don't know. He does that. Like, a lot, depending on the SPD, he just jumps back, jab. Not sure if that's, like, a screen thing, possibly. Ugh. Ugh. Bro, low-ass talk dives. But see, he's so good at that. Oh, no. Yep. Spam it out. When in doubt, spam it out, bro. He laughs. I got laughing knowing he topped here. Ugh. Trades all day. Oh my god. He he is special moving. He is special moving. Oh no, that was see, I was scared. I thought he was gonna do delay hawk dive. Oh. Oh. SPD. Oh. Bro, my man set play. That's like his thing. He likes to play New Hawk. Oh, we good. That was you know when you get like those accidental like full like full damage throws? You feel good about yourself. You know you feel good about yourself when you get when you get a when you get a throw like that that you that you're not supposed to get. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, I beat Inomata 5-2. But it was like a very scary set. Like, I was scared playing him because he was just... He was playing fast. Like, he, he really wanted to, like, play super fast the whole entire time. Yeah, I was like... I didn't even know what the score was. Low-key. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys really all enjoyed it. We work really hard and we're just striving to push the best fighting game content that we can possibly put out. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and thank you once again for supporting. And make sure you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.